Good morning everyone. Today is Thursday and it is November 10th. So this video is going to be about how do you get back on track. So as you guys knew, like I had a whole reverse diet um set up. Like literally I'll show you it. Like yeah, like Like I had a uh, four or five week reverse set up and I was on it for the first two weeks but then life happened and uh, I wasn't on it. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna go more in detail later because I'm about to go to class right now but you know, I struggled too and I thought I was gonna, you know, I've been okay but I found that it's just, it's stress that triggers me to get off my diet. And, you know, how it was for me was one slip up turned into a couple of days and a couple of days turned into a week and now here we are. Two weeks of just kind of like really loose tracking, which is fine because my goal is to do uh, intuitive eating and tracking. But I feel like I, I'm not going about it the way I had planned. So I've been back on it uh, the last couple of days and today I specifically told myself that i was going to be on it 100 percent, just like a mental thing to like get back on it but i've just been so stressed with school and when i stress i stress eat and then i overeat and then i get mad when i overeat and then it just goes in this whole thing so i want to talk to you guys about how i deal with it because i'm honestly fine i just get annoyed with myself because it's like i'm just if i have a goal and i have a plan for myself and i'm stick with it i'm just stubborn so i'm gonna show you how i get back on track i think it's so easy that when we go off we have like this mentality of like well i messed up i'm just gonna keep going and then it just turns into this whole thing and a lot of that just comes with uh self-love i think and how you see yourself how you feel about yourself if you already have like bad self-love bad self-esteem you're gonna keep beating yourself down even more so i think that's why i'm handling this okay and like why i'm in such like, a good place because i have worked so hard on my self-love this past year like i'm talking like a full year dedicated to self-love like it is not an overnight thing like i practice it like i get up early every day i'm reading books that help me i journal i pray um i i just i'm always checking in with myself it's a process and that's kind of something I like to teach on my channel and I like, talk about and like my journey with God and everything because I think that's the number one reason I'm here is to talk about that. It's not just about physical things, you know? So for me, it's just all about the planning and stress in college right now. I'm just trying to balance everything because right now I'm just kind of all over the place with personal life and academics and uh, fitness and everything. So... Today is the first day, I'm getting back on it, and I'm gonna take you through my day and show you how we get going. I woke up this morning, I read, I prayed, I feel good. I had some waffles, which by the way, those were amazing, and I highly recommend them. I got them from Kroger. Literally, macros were bomb, and they were delicious, so yeah. But yeah, I have class, and then I'm going to the library, and then hopefully tonight I'll catch up on sleep. All right, let's go. Mm. Usually I just do like uh, oats, but lately I've been doing one packet of oat fit, and then I do about like 10 to 15 grams of this and I mix it together. Um, there's no specific reason. This just is cinnamon roll flavored, and actually when you do this and then a little bit of that, um, the calories are, or the carbs are lower. Like in one packet of oat fit, there is 3 grams protein, 18 grams carbs, and 
two grams of fat. So 18 grams of carbs for one of these. Like, that's a decent amount. And then I just add this because I want more carbs. Yes, that is all. All right, I'm gonna go make it now. And what goes better with cinnamon roll than <laughs> cocoa glaze cinnamon roll peanut butter focus? <laughs> it's a feast. It is literally a feast. We're about to go down. We're about to go down. I am so freaking hungry. <laughs> Here's a little bit of a pro tip for all y'all. Water. Drink your damn water because that is what is going to keep you full and help you just like, ow. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> that is what's gonna help like keep you full throughout the day. Literally just buy a gallon of water and just carry it with you. Like who cares? That is what I do and that helps me stay full. Like I told you guys like the last two weeks I have not been on my diet at all and I'm not gonna lie I broke down last night about my body image and everything but in reality okay I may have been off two weeks but I haven't been like crazy. There were some days where I was just like Ugh, and went everywhere because of stress from my anatomy class which is another story. But in general it's just it's not that bad as long as it doesn't continue. You will not gain weight overnight or even in a couple days. It does not work like that. When you weigh yourself that is water weight. Highly recommend not weighing yourself. It's not worth it. Unless you feel like you want to check in maybe every now and then okay that's fine but you got to take into a lot of factors with your weight water weight fluctuates constantly so go by the mirror go by progress pictures honestly just take a progress picture say like every monday just do that does that make you happy because that i don't know just do that all right i have a brown rice i use one of these i throw in there and then i just have pre-made chicken i do which i had a video on how i prep my chicken in one of my older videos and then i'm gonna make some vegetables and do that and yay fun food i'm hungry i feel like in all these majors we're all just dying together Okay, so I have these like rice things. Ow. Oh. Stay off it. Oh, I just went on my shirt. Okay. Brown rice. One cup. College. Made simple. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm literally just starting all Thanksgiving. Oh, I know. Alright, so I put this on top of my stir fry and along with soy sauce. And here's the macros. Just gotta be careful because it's really high in fat, but it also tastes amazing. So, yeah, tahini. Alright. And here we go. This is the end product. Nothing crazy. It's just chicken and brown rice and veggies. And I'm gonna eat now because I'm starving. That's all. I'm hungry. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Today is November 11th, which means it is Veterans Day, which means there is no classes. So even though it's a beautiful day outside, I'm about to go and study all day. <sighs> Yay! Club library. Not good. <laughs> I, I have to, guys. It's the semester is coming to a close, and um, we have next week, and then there's Thanksgiving, then there's another week, and there's finals. So, yeah, uh, this semester has been extremely rough for me, guys. I don't even know where to begin with you. This is the hardest my classes have ever been. Now, it was hard doing my prep this semester, as yes, I did prep in college last year. This year was way harder. Uh, my prep was a lot more difficult not just physically, uh, mentally and emotionally. There's a lot going on in my life. And I put that before everything and I wasn't putting in enough time as I needed to into my academics, which is not me and has, I've never really been struggling this bad academically, which is an issue I'm trying to accept, but I just have to keep going forward and just stay positive. You know, if you're going through something right now, you just gotta smile. <laughs> you literally just gotta smile and you have to stay positive. No one can change your outcome except for you so how you react now is how you're gonna feel later so i was just so depressed and not accepting my situation i'm like oh my god i'm not gonna fail this class i'm not gonna i'm not gonna make it it's just gonna be horrible uh, whatever blah 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 you just gotta stay positive you have to whatever comes out of your mouth is truth if you talk highly of yourself and talk positive about a situation a and if you don't uh literally like if you say every day i'm not gonna do this i can't do this uh whatever that's exactly what's gonna happen i actually was talking about something on my snapchat which i am going to show right now yesterday and i'm gonna link my snapchat right here for anyone that would like to be friends with me hey some mic talks with stephanie if you're currently going through something rough right now smile literally just smile 
nothing is as bad as you perceive it to be. We have this tendency to make things way more dramatic than they actually are. Like, stop making excuses for why you can't be in a good mood today or why you just can't be positive. Literally, you're the only one that can change that. You know, life hasn't really been in my favor in the last couple weeks, and I was getting down on myself, but in reality, you just gotta stay positive and count your blessings every damn day, dude. Things only get better once you decide you want them to. Remember that. Things only get better once you decide you want them to. Remember that. It's the truth. It's the damn truth. Things are only gonna get better in your life once you decide I want them to get better and once you act on that thought. When you decide you want things to get better and you make a plan on how to do it, that's when things change. You know, you can pray about it, you can think about it, but you have to actively say, I want things to be better and you gotta do something about it. I keep like thinking about things I want to get better in my life, but it's like, okay, unless I actually do something, that's not gonna happen. Um, if you wanna like pause the video and read that, go for it, homie. But I'll just tell you what it says. Okay, first steps, November 11th. What time I am afraid? I will have confidence in and put my trust and reliance in you. By the help of God, I will praise his word. On God, I lean, rely, and confidently put my trust. I will not fear. Life changed greatly for me when I finally understood that even if I am shaking as a result of fear, I am not behaving cowardly as long as I keep pressing forward to do whatever it is the fear is trying to get me not to do. So if fear will keep you from doing things that you are capable of doing it's about pressing forward no matter where you at no matter where you are at right now as long as you decide you're gonna get up every damn day you're gonna fight through that day and you're gonna get to the next day that's all it takes i don't care what it is you're going through you could be going through the absolute worst possible thing in the world or the i don't know whatever you're going through you just have to take it day by day it's baby steps you got to take one baby step if you want to take two eventually so another part of this she did something she was afraid of. She had to take one step before she could take two. Take the first step. The next one will be easier. So whatever it is you're afraid to do, you are so much stronger than your fear. And like the Lord even promises that. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? You have nothing to be afraid of in this world. And the thing is, I think people don't even realize it's their fear of holding them back because we make so many damn excuses. We're so good at making excuses that in just accepting the root of what the issue is and tackling that, we just make excuses for everything going on in our life on just why we can't do something or why something's going this way or whatever. And you just have to change your mindset. And I know it's a lot um, easier said than done. But whatever it takes, you just gotta work on it. Whether it's journaling it, making a game plan, doing something that makes you happy every single day, having like a clear point of thought every single day. You're so much stronger than your fears and you have to take one baby step. So maybe you wanna start your fitness journey but you don't know what to do in the gym. Okay, well why don't you start with things that are easier before going on and doing all the crazy stuff on cables or free weights, why don't you just do some body weight stuff upstairs or why don't you do little things with like resistance bands or something. Start small and then work your way up. Maybe go to the gym two times a week. Two times a week, that's it. That's all we're asking of. Two times a week, 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, well once you overcome that fear, uh, why don't you up it to like three to four days? And why don't you start doing more research on training? Why don't you get a coach? Why don't you watch YouTube videos? Why don't you start reading some articles online? Why don't you start uh, throwing things out in your house? Say, say this was Reese's right now. Pitch that. Pitch it, pitch it, pitch it, pitch it, pitch it, pitch it, pitch it. Yeah! Go grocery shopping. Get food that only you can eat. Or should eat, is what I'm trying to say. Just take baby steps, little things. Day after day, make a checklist of all the things you want to do that are going to take you to reach your goal. Okay? And then ask, just, you just got to keep going with it from there. That's all you got to do. Go overcome your fear. Baby steps. So we're already back from the gym, yay! No, not really. We walked all the way to the gym and then Hannah realized that she forgot her headphones so we drove back. It's all right, all right. <laughs> so she's getting her headphones right now and then we're gonna go and we're gonna film a shoulder workout because I have been having a lot of leg day workouts for you guys lately and that's just because leg day happens to fall on the day when I am usually able to film and the gym's not as busy. But since there's no school today and the gym will hopefully not be as crowded and me and Hannah can both work out together to film, 
we're gonna do shoulder day for you all. You're welcome. All right, next time I see you, I'll be pumping some iron on these delts, baby. All right, adios, amigos. And for those that aren't Spanish, goodbye, my friends. I forgot I had this shirt to be honest. I was like, oh, okay, um, let's, uh, let's do this. A break, a pause. I wait. Oh, baby, cause I know I was the cause. Every time I close my eyes, I see your face. A break, a pause I wait, oh baby cause I know I was the cause Every time I close my eyes I see your face I'm longing for your kisses and your sweet embrace Now you're saying you need time and that you need your space And you don't know if things will ever be the same But I will wait for you 
anyone else out there just like wake up mid nap and not know what's going on because same. <laughs> uh, I was in the middle of a nap and I woke up and I don't know what's going on. Oh dear God, okay. You see like I went to the gym this morning and I took pre-workout and I had coffee. And now I can't sleep, but it's fine. Alright, I'm about to have to go 